Hey people, it is Friday, June the 25th, and it is 11.36 in the morning. Not the afternoon, yes, the morning. And I'm here at the corner of Queen Street West and Bathurst Street. And this is the beginning of the West Queen West neighborhood as you head west along Queen. So I thought I'd walk through West Queen West, because I haven't come through here since the reopening a couple of weeks ago when they allowed outdoor dining to resume and in-store shopping and I think I'll make my way up to Ossington Avenue and walk north up Ossington as well it's a rather muggy 22 degrees right now I think it's going to get hotter as the day goes on. It feels closer to 30 with the Humidex already. And very soon this barber shop will be permitted to reopen after being closed for something like the last nine months or <laughs> I'm not even sure how long. A very long time. As the provincial government has moved up the beginning of stage two. We're currently in stage one, which was supposed to last for three weeks. But they decided to move up stage two two whole days early. So at the end of the month, things like personal care services, Barbers and hair salons will finally be allowed to go back into business. I personally think we should have went straight into stage three because these stages are supposed to coincide with vaccination rates and we've already exceeded the vaccination rates for stage two and we're currently qualifying to be fully in stage three right now but we're still in stage one so I'm not sure what the point is of laying out these rules in such a way if you can't adjust them accordingly Over 75% of the city of Toronto has had at least one shot and over 25% has had both shots. I'll be getting my second shot on Sunday. So far, over 3 million Torontonians have had at least one shot. Or at least that is the city of Toronto has administered over 3 million doses. Maybe that's combined first and second shots. Because the city population is around 3 million. So I suppose that would make more sense. And we're currently walking past some happening music here. So I'll just walk or talk over that. <laughs> West Queen West. Negative. And he's like, no, 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 you guys 
And there is the new home of the Silver Snail comic book store that was at Young and Dundas for the last seven or eight years. And then I noticed in one of my videos that that location was for lease and I thought they'd closed down. But then I heard that they actually relocated back to Queen Street, which is where they originally were before they moved to Young and Dundas. So it's good to see that they're back. Their original location from back in the day was further east here on Queen, though. But I think they're probably happy to be back on Queen Street. Good to see Queen Street looking somewhat lively. Store is made for a hanky panky. It's kind of an old fashioned term. How about a store called Making Whoopie? And here is the entrance to Trinity Bellwoods Park. The city recently cleared out a huge homeless encampment that was at Trinity Bellwoods here with, with a pretty huge tent city with much controversy. I think the, uh, the tent city residents were offered accommodation in hotels, but there weren't many takers. They wanted to remain here, but really, what can the city do? I mean, can't really just allow the parks to become permanent tent cities. I mean, kind of between a rock and a hard place.
Oh, that is... That is interesting, where art and trauma collide. I was almost starting to miss the sound of construction. Ha! Huh. Not really. There's a nice old school family mart. I, think I used to come to this store when I lived briefly in this neighborhood. When I first moved to Toronto, I lived for about a month in a house not too far from here. Well, an apartment really. I was renting a room in an apartment with some friends. This was my first neighborhood as a Torontonian. And I think the next street up ahead is actually the street I lived on. I did a video a while back showing my very first apartment or the location of my very first apartment. And that was pretty fun. That was over 10 years ago. Moffer Coffee. I thought it said Mother Coffee because it says birthplace of coffee. But Moffer Coffee? How is that connected to birth? And here's Gibbon Street. I live just one, two, three. Houses up there on the right. I'll go with you. <laughs> Why would I go? Next street is Ossington, so I'll be turning north here. And we'll walk up the west side. For some reason, every time I've done other videos of Ossington, I've always walked along the east side. So this will actually be something different. I 
I find that happens a lot. You just tend to always walk on the same side of the streets that you often walk on. So the Ossington Strip is a very popular restaurant and nightlife strip. There's Jimmy's Coffee with Jimi Hendrix and Jimmy Carter and Jimmy Henson, <laughs> if you want to call him Jimmy Henson. <laughs> Lots of Jimmy's painted on the wall. So Ossington wasn't always a popular restaurant and nightlife destination. For the longest time, it was sort of a dingy strip of, of old school ethnic sports bars and kind of semi-industrial looking tire shops. And then the hipsters came. <laughs> Just over 10 years ago is when Ossington began its transformation. There's Blondie's Pizza. I tried that place last summer for the first time. It was quite good. I actually saw another Toronto YouTuber give that place a good review, so I thought I'd check it out. Here's a newer development plunked down on the street, but it's not too bad. I mean, it does have a proper scale to go along with the rest of the street. And it has some good retail. So no real complaints there.
This is Sam James Coffee Bar. Now, I think this is one of those former tire shops that's currently being renovated into something else. Something most likely interesting. Now this development here has been here for a long time, but it really does not fit in on the strip in my opinion. It has no retail on the ground floor. Its design is a bit clashing with the surroundings. Bobby Sue's Mac and Cheese. Monkey Sushi, they have a number of locations around the city. I've never tried it though. Yeah, here's Rotate This. This used to be on Queen West. And they've moved over here. It's just a cool local indie record store. Jake and Elroy. Miss uh, the Vampire. The Painted Lady. It's another very popular local local joint. And this is where the Ossington Strip more or less stops as a commercial district and Ossington from this point north is mainly a residential street. This is Dundas Street West. It's looking east towards downtown. So I think I'll just walk up to about Dufferin Street. Here on Dundas, this is passing through the Little Portugal neighborhood. This area has also been quite gentrified over the last 10 years or so. Grasshopper Records, anything good in the window? I mean, there's some good stuff there, but you know what I'm looking for. Comment below if you know what I'm looking for, and I do not see it.
Let's get well. This is more or less an extension of the Ossington strip along this part of Dundas in terms of nightlife destinations and restaurants. It's not so much little Portugal anymore. I mean, it still is, but it's been watered down quite a bit in this particular section. But there are still some of the old businesses here. So this place is actually called Extra Burger. I always just, just thought it was just called Hamburgers. I never noticed this other sign before. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of dust. I'll just wait for this dust to blow past here. Crossing Dover Court Road. I did a walk recently along the northern stretch of Dover Court Road where there's a neat little retail strip called Dover Court Village, which I never knew about. It's funny how I've just recently discovered a few of these little retail strips after 10 years living in the city and thinking I knew where they all were. The one on Dover Court and also the one at the north end of Coxwell. And one at the north end of... What's, what's the street called now? <laughs> Can't remember the name of the street. It'll come to me later. Here's a nice old school little Portugal business. These kind of places also used to be on Ossington. Thank you. 
<laughs> Did not see her coming. You can open up soon the fitting room. Make sure they're counting the minutes. Psychic Sonia. She's lucky her name starts with an sound. Makes for a catchy name for her psychic services, which also has two sounds. So here we are at Dufferin Street. So I think this is where I will wrap up this walk. So if you enjoyed the walk starting from Queen and Bathurst and heading west through West Queen West to Ossington then north on Ossington to Dundas and continuing west through Little Portugal here to Dufferin Street and then leave a comment below like and share subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos 
And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal and through my new merch store. And you can also find me on Instagram under K Continuum. So thanks for watching and be sure to keep checking back because as always, I will continue.